Hello, good morning, and welcome, and very happy feast day to you. Today, as you know, is traditionally known as Boxing Day. It is even more traditionally known as St. Stephen's Day. Today is the feast of St. Stephen. So, here in Launceston, in our lovely town, we're very conscious of our very close association with St. Stephen. The name Launceston itself, in Cornish, is Land Stefan meaning land of St. Stephen, or ch church land of St. Stephen. And this old part of the town where we live is called St. Stephen's. And we live on St. Stephen's Hill, and the church up the road is St. Stephen's, originally 10th century church on that site, now a 13th century uh, church building, uh, which of course originally was Catholic. So we like to think that the Anglicans are just keeping it warm for us, as we like to say here. So, and, and here, of course, in St. Cuthbert Main Chapel, we have a statue to St. Stephen. So, again, we're very aware of our, I mean, St. Stephen really lies at the heart of this town. And even in our church, we, we, we honour him. So, <clears throat> I'm just going to read a short passage about the martyrdom of St. Stephen on this, his feast day. It comes from the Acts of the Apostles, in chapter 7. But Stephen, filled with the Holy Spirit, gazed into heaven and saw the glory of God and Jesus standing at God's right hand. <clears throat> I can see heaven thrown open, he said, and the Son of Man standing at the right hand of God. At this, all the members of the council shouted out and stopped their ears with their hands. Then they all rushed at him and sent him out of the city and stoned him. The witnesses put down their clothes at the feet of a young man called Saul. As they were stoning him, Stephen said in invocation, Lord Jesus, receive my spirit. Then he knelt down, <coughs> he knelt down and said aloud, Lord, do not hold this sin against them. And with these words, he fell asleep. Saul enti entirely approved of the killing. Amazing, isn't it? It's no wonder that Saul, before his conversion, when he converted, became Saint Paul, it, or became Paul, it took a long time for Christians to trust him, and you can understand why. So, very interesting that we celebrate the Feast of Saint Stephen just one day after Christmas Day, uh, the shedding of the blood. He was the first Christian martyr, the first martyr of the church, and I think it's a reminder that Christian discipleship, yes, is certainly about coming, uh, adore and worship the Lord. It is certainly about peace and goodwill, but it's about other things too. And the martyrs, the martyrdom of St. Stephen certainly reminds us of that. The word martyr, as we know, means witness. And Stephen in his life and in his death gave very close witness to the Lord in many ways. And here are just three of them. Firstly, we heard that he preached with eloquence and wisdom. Actually, there are the few lines before the passage that I read out. But, but Stephen certainly preached very eloquently about his faith, about our faith, that Jesus Christ is Lord. Secondly, when he was facing death by stoning, Stephen entrusted and commended his life to the Lord. Lord Jesus, receive my spirit, he prayed, rather like Jesus on the cross. Father, into your hands I commend my spirit. And thirdly, and importantly, he forgave those who were persecuting him. Lord, do not hold this sin against them, he said. Again, very similar to the words of Jesus on the cross. Father, forgive them, they know not what they do. Again, right at the heart of the Christian message, to forgive others as we are forgiven. So three things that we can learn for ourselves. <clears throat> Firstly, be proud of our Christian faith. Don't hide it away. It is good news, and my goodness, how we need, how we need good news at the moment. It is good news and proclaim Christ as Lord by what we say and by living as Jesus taught. 
And as Christ has brought light into our lives, may we bring a bit of light to others. Secondly, have trust in God. Commend our lives to the Lord. As he tells his disciples many times, do not be afraid, be not afraid. Trust in God still and trust in me, Jesus says. And may we trust in him. And thirdly, be merciful and forgiving to those who sin against us. As we pray in the Our Father, God's forgiveness of us and our forgiveness of others, they're interrelated. May we have merciful hearts. So let us turn to God in prayer on this feast of St. Stephen. St. Stephen was one of the first deacons of the church, so we do pray for all deacons, especially our own deacon Richard in this parish, that they may serve the Lord and his people with generosity and fidelity and with a special care for the poor. Lord, in your mercy. St. Stephen is patron of the Guild of St. Stephen for altar servers. I was in it at one time. We're going to enrol somebody today as well, later on. So we thank God for all our altar servers who do such a wonderful job. Girls, boys, men and women. And pray that God bless them and help them grow in the ways of the Lord. Lord, in your mercy. We pray, as we think of St. Stephen, who is martyred, we pray for those many, many Christians who are being persecuted today in many parts of the world. Christian persecution of Christians is worse now than ever. And it's an appalling situation that's largely ignored. So we pray that they may know the support of our prayers and our deeds as they bear courageous witness to Christ and his gospel. Lord, in your mercy. And we pray for ourselves. May we be helped by St. Stephen's prayers and inspired by his example to live the Christian life in every way. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And at this time, of course, I'm sure we've got a lot of people that we want to keep in our prayers. Members of our family, our friends, our fellow parishioners, who probably we've not seen as we would have liked in these strange times. So we keep them all in our prayers and ask the Lord's abundant blessing on them all. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Let us ask the Blessed Virgin Mary to pray with us and for us as we say, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. St. Stephen, pray for us. So, wish you a very happy feast day. God bless you.